everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! The interlocking food chains in a food web show how organisms interact in a feeding relationship. Aside from that, the biotic components of the ecosystem or the organisms or the living things also interact in ecological relationships. There are five commonly seen ecological relationships in the ecosystem. First, predation, competition, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. When an organism kills and eats another one, the relationship is called predation. Halimbawa, sa animation na ito, we can see a hawk eating a fish. The animal that eats is called the predator, and the animal which is eaten is referred to as the prey. Another example under predation is this one. We can see a wolf eating a sea lion. The wolf is the predator and the sea lion is the prey. Punta naman tayo sa isa pang ecological relationship. It is competition. This occurs when organisms compete for the same needs in their environment. They can compete about territory, food, mate, water, or sunlight. Competition also occurs in humans. Halimbawa, in congested cities, humans compete for space sa daanan. They also compete for the food supply, the source of water, and other basic needs. Next is the relationship that occurs where both participating organisms benefit from each other. It is called mutualism. Nakikita ang mutualism sa relationship ng butterfly at flower. The butterfly goes to the flower for food. It sucks its nectar in order to eat. In the same way, the flower benefits by having the butterfly carry its pollen grains in order to pollinate and reproduce sexually by transferring its pollen grains to another flower. Another example of mutualism exists in spider crabs and greenish-brown algae. Ang mga spider crab ay nakatira sa shallow areas of the ocean floor. At ang mga greenish-brown algae ay nakatira sa likod ng mga crab, making the crabs blend with the environment. Dahil dito, the algae gets a good place to live and the crab gets camouflage. Camouflage to protect itself from predators. Mutualism also occurs in clownfish and sea anemone. The clownfish lives within the tentacles of the sea anemone and, in return, the sea anemone receives cleaning and protection because of the fish. If you are familiar with this picture, you will know that this is a lichen. Para sa mga hindi nakakaalam, a lichen is not a plant. Lichen is the result of the mutualistic relationship between fungi and algae or fungi and cyanobacteria. The fungi receives nutrients from the photosynthetic algae or bacteria, at ang algae or bacteria naman ay nakaka-receive ng protection, food, and stability from the fungi. Sa isang lichen, nasaan ba ang algae o cyanobacteria at ang fungi? Let's take a look at this illustration. In this picture, ang yellowish or brownish na structure ay ang fungal hyphae o ang mga thread-like na mga structures sa isang fungi. Sa ilalim ng fungal hyphae, makikita ang mga algal cells. 
yung mga color green na bilog na nakikita natin sa picture. Another common ecological relationship in the ecosystem is commensalism. In this relationship, an organism is benefited while the other organism is unaffected. Isang typical example ay ang orchid plant at ang isang tree o puno. In this relationship, the orchid growing clings to the tree for support and for reaching out at para maarawan ang orchid. Through this, the orchid can make its own food and its roots can absorb moisture from the air. On the other hand, ang puno naman ay hindi naapektuhan ng pagkling ng orchid sa kanya. Sa commensalism, the one that benefits is called the commensal, while the one that is unaffected is called the host. Isa pang halimbawa sa commensalism ay ang relationship between the cattle and the cattle egret. The cattle egret, yung puting bird, eats the insects na makikita sa katawan ng cattle. While the egret is eating the insects, the cattle remains unaffected and it just continues to eat the grass. In this example, ang egret ay ang commensal at ang cattle naman ang unaffected host. The last ecological relationship that we're going to discuss is parasitism. If you have seen those dot-like structures on your dog, you should be worried because this dot is actually a parasite. It sucks the blood of the dog for its nutrients. This is a typical example ng parasitism. Sa picture na ito, we can see that the parasite, which is the tick, sucks the blood and harms the dog, which is the host. Sa mga tao naman, isang common parasite ang mga lisa o lice. Kumakapit sila sa buhok natin until they grow at maging kuto sila. Kapag naging kuto na sila, they suck the blood in our head for their own nutrients. So we should be very careful na hindi tayo magkakuto. In this example, ang host ay ang tao, specifically sa buhok ng tao, at ang parasite ay ang mga lisa. Before we have a short quiz, let's have a quick recap first. In this video, pinag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa mga common ecological relationships. Ang mga ito ay ang predation, competition, mutualism, commensalism, at parasitism. It's good time! Para malaman natin if you really learned something from our Shansha Amazing episode, we are going to give you a short quiz that you will answer in 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, we will check.
Hands up, let's check your answers. In this quiz, we're going to identify the ecological relationship in the given pictures. Number one, you can see na ang frog ay nagbe-blend in siya sa grass. So the frog benefits while the grass, while the plant remains unharmed. This is commensalism. Number two, if you can remember, this is a lichen. Ano nga ulit ang relationship ng mga organisms na makikita sa lichen? It is mutualism between an algae or cyanobacteria and a fungi. Number three, we can see a dog with ticks. This is parasitism. Number four, there is an orchid and a tree. The orchid clings to the tree. This is an example of commensalism. Last number, number five. We can see two deers which are competing. They may be competing for territory, for basic needs, or for mates. Sa example na to, naglalaban sila, nagkukompete sila. This is competition. We want to know your score. Please comment it down in the comment section below. That ends our Shansh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!